This is kind of cool. Dualies. Dually wheels <coughs> with plastic rims. Let me show you how I got there. So basically, I took these rims, and they're basically normal rims from uh, Axial, and I took a two inch pipe, just a plumber's pipe. So you take a plumber's pipe and you cut it. Uh, I did an inch strips, uh, and then I did a slot in it, but my slot was a little too small, so I had to do it a little bit bigger. So ends up, you have a piece similar to this. So basically what I've done is I've taken, you take this piece, put it in there, you got about half an inch from here to here. So you just squeeze it in there, put it nice and tight, all the way in. The other rim, you actually cut it out. So yes, you do cut it out. Take the same side, inside, and you put them together. Now I will be gluing this later, but it's nice and tight as it is and it doesn't come out. So it's pretty nice and tight and it's nice and flush. So then I put my wheels in and these will be glued but basically glued before putting this on or else it's kind of hard to get that inside bead after. So oh, before I put the wheel on let me show you this. So basically because I don't want to modify these axle when you put them in it actually saw, slides all the way in and actually locks up. Come on. What the, what you there we go. So there, it's installed. <clears throat> so without modifying your axle, you're not stretching the look of the truck. And it's kind of a cheap way to do uh, some, uh, I was going to say bead locks, but they're not bead locks. They're dually wheels. So these were actually 1.7s. Uh, they were converted to 1.9 by just taking another tire, taking a strip, and gluing a whole new one on it. So now they're actually 1.9s instead of 1.7. So by putting them in one side, and I can do the other one. The other one's a little bit tricky to put if you don't glue them right ahead. But I'm going to try to put the bead on there. Anyways, you guys get the idea? It fell in. Kind of. There we go. So now the bead is in. Best thing to do is glue them, then sandwich them together. And then it gets this on the inside. So everything is nice. And then you actually just put them on there. And I'll turn on the truck and I'll show you how... They're not bad. They're, they could be better balanced and all that, but maybe by gluing them better, uh, it's it won't wobble or whatever. But let me turn it on. So there we go, I got them on, now I'm turning them, not bad, they're pretty well balanced I find, uh, they're going to be good, uh, hold on, there we go, not bad. Uh, they're going to be good. Uh, these are actually going to be for my trailer build. Uh, I'm building for my pickup truck and maybe for the pickup rear wheel also. Uh, but right now it's going to be for that big long trailer that's going to go behind my 650 for the toy hauler. Uh, so I use this as an example. But it actually looks very neat on the rat rod. And basically if I do do that box that goes at the back, uh, I might have to modify uh, either make it narrower or do actually little wheel wells uh, for the back box, but I do want to keep a, a full lid so so it keeps nice and strong. It actually overlaps this part here, and this is where it's going to take all the weight. So if I do do a tumble, uh, any weight I put here, uh, this piece should hold it pretty strong on there. Uh, I do want to build kind of a gas tank similar to this. But anyways, this story is not about the rat rod, but about the dualies. So those are cheap ways to do dualies with plastic rims. So kind of easy to do. The only thing you need is a Dremel and two inch pipe. Just find any old piece. I had this piece lying around. Actually I found it on my dad's. Uh, so just get yourself a small pipe and you can do your own. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. It's always useful. Thanks. Have a good day. See you on the trail.